Hi everybody, in this video we are going to do 6th grade GG8, which is create relative frequency tables. So let's look at the first problem. This morning, Blenders and Bites Smoothie Shop sold 14 strawberry smoothies, 27 pineapple smoothies, and 9 blueberry smoothies. Complete the relative frequency table for the data. So we know how many of each type of smoothie the shop sold. When we do a relative frequency table, then we're interested in what percent of all of the smoothies were strawberry, what percent of all the smoothies were pineapple, and so on. So in order to figure that out, all we have to do is add up all the numbers. So there were 14 strawberry smoothies sold, and there were 27 pineapple smoothies and nine blueberry smoothies. So the total number of, smoo of smoothies that were sold was 50. And then if I want to know what percent of those 50 smoothies were strawberry, then I would just do 14, which is the number of strawberry smoothies, divided by 50, which is the total. And that would give me 0 0.28. And then I would just move the decimal point two spaces to the right and that would be 28%. So 28% of all the smoothies sold were strawberry smoothies. And we're going to do the same thing for the others. We already have the total, so we don't have to do that again. I'm just gonna do for the pineapple 27 divided by 50, which is 0 0.54. Move the decimal two spaces to the right and you would get 54%. And then for a blueberry, it would be nine divided by 50, which would be 0 0.54. One eight. Okay, and that would be 18%. If you're wondering how I was able to do that in my head, 9 divided by 50 so fast, it's just because I know that 9, I'm asking myself, 9 over 50 is equal to what over 100? Because percents are really out of 100. In fact, the percent symbol means out of 100. So, I could multiply this by 2 to get 100, and then I would just have to multiply this by 2 also. Okay, so really in my head, I just did 9 times 2 was 18. Anyway, that's a little trick. You don't have to do that when you're doing this IXL exercise. So those are our answers. And something that I just want to point out is that if you add all of the percentages in a relative frequency table, you should always get 100 because 100% means everything. All right, so when you add everything together, you should get 100%. And let's just check that. This is an easy way to check that uh, we didn't make a mistake somewhere. So yeah, we do get 100 when we add these three numbers together. All right, so let's do another problem. Okay, this one is basically the same thing as what we did before. So let me skip ahead. Maybe I'll get a different kind of a problem. All right, so here... This, again, is very similar to what we did before, but they're giving us the frequencies in a table, whereas in the last problem, they gave us the frequencies in a paragraph that we had to read. So now all the information is in the table. Jack helped his dad organize small items in his sewing kit, right? So in the sewing kit, there were 18 buttons, there were six zippers, there were 12 Velcro pieces, and there were 24 safety pins. The word frequency just means how many of something there are. And then relative frequency is we want to know what percent of all of the items were buttons, what percent were zippers, and so forth. So again, we're just going to start by figuring out the total number of items. So we would add up all of these numbers, 18 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 equals 60. So there were 60 items all together. And then to figure out the relative frequency, so for example, I want to know, okay, so I already know that there were 18 buttons, but now I want to know 18 is what percent of all of the items. So we would do 18 divided by the total, which was 60. We would get 0 0.3. If you move the decimal point two spaces to the right, then you would get 30%. And then if you wanted to do six, whoops, Next one for zippers, 6 divided by 60. Well, that should be 0 
or 10% if you move the decimal point two spaces to the right. Okay, let's do some mental math here. If I already know that six is 10% of the total, then 12, which is two times six, should be 20% of the total because that's two times 10. And if you don't believe me, then you could do 12 divided by 60 in the calculator, All right? Sometimes it's nice just to give your mind a workout, just to try to do some mental uh, shortcuts in your head. Um, 24, well, I know that 24 is double 12. So 12 times two is 24. So this one should be 20 times two, which is 40. We can just check that by doing 24 divided by 60, which was the total. And we do get 0 0.4, which is 40%. Okay, so 40% of all of the items were safety pins. Okay, and once again, we can just make sure that we're on the right track by uh, adding up all of these percentages. And we should always get 100% when we add up all the percentages. So 30 plus 10 plus 20 plus 40 equals 100. So yeah, that tells me I probably didn't make a mistake anywhere. Um, so I'll go ahead and submit that. Okay, and the rest of these problems really are the same. So I think I'm going to end the video there. Just remember to add up all of the numbers and then take each number and divide by the total, right? That'll give you a decimal, then move the decimal point two spaces to the right, and that'll give you um, the relative frequency, which is just a percent. Okay, so that's it for this video and have a great day.